Hi guys, it's Madison, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a dirty clothes hamper or a garbage can for your baby alive with a Clorox container. So first it has to be empty. And then you don't want long nails for this part or else you're going to have someone else do it. So like, even the size of my nails. They're a little dirty, I don't care though. And take the lid off. Nothing in it. And I'm gonna find where the peel starts. And just start peeling. And I am going to be decorating my hair. This is stuff that you probably will have at your house. Most people, not everyone though. For the main thing that you will need is a cork container, which I am tearing apart right now. Tearing it apart, or not really tearing it apart, but you get what I mean. If you're gonna do the next step, then you can do it later. So, I have that container. Then I am going to take a piece of paper and decorate it, and I'll be right back because I have to go get one. Okay, I'm back. Got the two sheets of paper, and I'm just going to, well, it's perfect size. I'm just going to need to trim it a little. Just look, like cuts, like right here. So, we're going to need scissors, which I forgot over there, so let me be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I got my scissors. They're small. I don't want to wick here, though. So, I don't know if I'm going to tip these over here tonight. Depend on how what you are going to design this. So you're going to take your thing, put the piece of paper on it, and you're going to tape it. Now they don't want to do that because I'm horrible at taping things. Okay, so I am back. I got it taped. You just like tape it right here. Then you wrap it around again, tape it right there in the same spot basically. So now I got my scissors. It's gonna cut a little hole. Not really a hole, like a slit like that. Then I'm gonna cut around. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if you want to decorate it, like I'm going to. Making it straight, it's kind of hard, I guess. To me, it is. I don't know. I'm not an artist at all. Like making things. Not an artist, and probably never will be. I like coloring, but that's not really considered an artist. So I got it all wrapped. And I'm going to take my markers, which are right here. Crayola. No, I don't like this. Crayola Super Tips. So I wanted to make sure you guys could see. Okay, so I opened them up and I'm gonna put a heart on it. So I've got my red. Then I'm gonna write Hazel and Clara because those are the names. And I'm gonna write it with One of them really likes orange. So there's the orange. Then, hmm, what color does she like? She likes like purple and black, but I'm not doing black. Then I got the spun. Okay, so I got my three colors right here. Let me put that down there. Gonna take my red and start drawing hearts. Sorry if you 
guys can't see. Um, it's going to sound weird because it's hollow on the inside. I sound a bit weird. I'm also not going to draw on her, actually. Told you, not very good. It's gonna do one part for now. Then Clara. And my name is spelled very different. If you watch some videos, you can tell my background on my wall it says Madison, and it's M A D Y S O N. It's just spelled unique, and I'm spelling Hazel and Clara unique, too. So, and I'm going to put and. So, for my and, I will do, sorry, turquoise. Turquoise, turquoise, turquoise. I think I might have messed up, I don't know. It'll be good. I like what she wrote it. <laughs> so, Clara is C-L-I-A-R-I-A. -I -A. Then, of course, and <laughs> Hazel, H-A-Z-Z-E-L. <laughs> then, I'm going to put another heart right here. Sorry if it's kind of loud. My parents are being weird. Playing with my dog and watching the Bears game because our family loves the Bears. I do too, but it's not that much. If you know what I mean, put down in the comments if your dad does that. Hang on. Smeared a litter. A litter. <laughs> oh, smeared a litter. A litter. There's another heart, it's on the tape, so it's weird. <laughs> I dropped it. Now I'm going to take, let's do this color. I don't have a pink. Pink, yeah, I'll show you guys it. This pink, Mr. Sketch. And I am going to put peace signs. you draw a piece sign. It's a circle, line, and then like a little rainbow. <laughs> I explained it really well, didn't you? <laughs> Another piece sign. I'm going to touch it up. I have another Mr. Sketch. I'm going to touch up Hazel's name. Look at it, it's supposed to be fat, like fat marker. Now it is. See, so touched up Hazel's name. No, I might have Mr. Scotch for Clara, but she likes her name Skinny, I'm guessing. Myself. <laughs> that was a needle by the wood. <laughs> I don't even know if you can bring yourself with wood. Well, anyways, Hazel and Clara. Not wanting to cooperate, and the tape part keeps coming off. And I know it's tape and all, but it looks weird with half of a heart gone. So, Hazel and Clara.
So then if you want, you can put the lid back on. Take my scissors and turn this so the lid would fit on. I hope I don't get cut off my peace sign. Make sure you can see this rigid part before putting the lid on like I tried to do. Snap it on. So then there, then if you want, you could just open the lid, put in that thing, this thing. This thing is in the way. So what I'm going to do is Broke my scissors. Well, don't do that. <laughs> Hang on, I'll be back whenever I get this cut off. I don't have strong enough scissors to cut this. Clorox box one, Madison zero. <laughs> it completely broke my scissors. Didn't even cut with them now. My favorite one. They actually weren't mitts. Oh. Well, if you have an exacto knife, you could. I just don't. My family's not crafty. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna bend them down. And if you want, you could cut this might be a little thinner for you to cut. I don't even know why I'm trying to cut with broken scissors. Just rip it. I don't know if I should have done that or not. If you broke your scissors like I did, maybe you could down. scissors or do you guys see this outline well you can cut along that with your exacto knife or if you have really strong scissors I'm gonna go get stronger scissors and see if that works and I'll be right back I couldn't find a pair of scissors that are strong enough so I just have, um, would have to use exacto knife but I don't have one so I'm stuck with this doodad. <laughs> I can kind of bend it. I'll work on it some other time. But I kind of decided, hey, why not just have this part? You can just take it. And snap it on and then. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like and subscribe. And yeah, basically, thank you for watching. Bye.